Hi everyone, welcome to Carmen's Australian Storytime. I had to show off my beautiful new Michelle Pike print, one of my favourite artists, and all of my Aussie animals, my favourites, are having a jam session with their musical instruments. And I'm pretty sure they're sitting on her replica of a little Ayers rock. I love this painting so much. Today I am reading a book written by Kay Bailey and illustrated by Max Hamilton and it's called When the Waterhole Dries Up. It's such a fun book about some more fun Aussie animals drawn in a fun way and um, I love the illustrations. This is one of the th reasons I chose this book straight away. Let's see what the blurb says. It's bath time in the outback. So many bubbles and so many... Um, Animals, will this boy ever get clean? A rollicking tale about togetherness and fun. Doesn't look like there's any water around, does it? <clears throat> there is a room in an outback place where a dusty boy is waiting. You would get dusty if you were outside. Look, there's no grass anywhere. And in that room stands a bath. A bubbly bath in an outback place where a dusty boy is waiting. Yes, he does look very dusty. He's putting some bubble bath in. <gasps> were you expecting that? And in that bath creeps a croc. A clumsy croc in a bubbly bath in an outback place where a dusty boy is waiting. Well, he's over here, thank goodness, because I would not want to be in the bath with a croc. And in that bath rushes a roo, a rollicking roo, with a clumsy croc in a bubbly bath in an outback place where a dusty boy is waiting. And in that bath cues a quoll, a quivering quoll, with a rollicking roo and a clumsy crock in a bubbly bath in an outback place where a dusty boy is waiting. Okay, this is a bit of a tongue twister. And in that bath emerges an emu, an elegant emu with a quivering quoll and a rollicking roo and a clumsy croc in a bubbly bath in an outback place where a dusty boy is waiting. And in that bath dives a dingo, a daring dingo. Oh, I don't know if all these animals should be mixing together in the bath. With an elegant emu and a quivering quoll, Quoll and a rollicking roo and a clumsy croc in a bubbly bath in an outback place where a dusty boy is waiting. I think he's getting frustrated. When's his turn to go in the bath? There's no room left for him. The emu looks quite satisfied. <laughs> he's taking off his socks. All covered in spikes, a dragon appears. Wait, wait, wait. A dragon? There's no dragons in the outback. A dragon? What are we going to do with a dragon? Oh, a thorny dragon. There are dragons in the outback. A thorny dragon who likes to dance with a daring dingo and an elegant emu and a quivering quoll and a rollicking roo and a clumsy croc in a bubbly bath. Uh, there's definitely going to be no room for you. Sorry, you're going to have to bath elsewhere. In an outback place where a dusty boy is waiting. They all look very happy. The thorny dragon spikes the dingo. Ow! Who chases the emu. Hmm, well, the emu is probably quite tasty to a dingo. Who pecks the quoll. Who trips on the roo? Uh oh. Who hops on the croc? Wait a second. This is all going pear shaped because there's no room for anybody. And they run outside and it's starting to rain in an outback place 
where a dusty boy is, oh, what's filling up? They're all gonna go swimming in the water hole and they're bathing. <laughs> Look at the goal, he looks very happy. And the boy looks very happy. Oh, and the thorny dragon's going for a ride on the dingo. And they're bathing. Um, I'm actually making a connection here because this week we did the gingerbread man in class and the gingerbread man had to climb up higher on the fox's back. And do you remember what happened when they got to the top? That's right, the fox ate him. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen to the thorny dingo, um, to the thorny um, dragon. But I'm guessing that it won't because I don't think I'd like to eat a thorny dragon. Do you? You know. And that is the end of the story. And look at the mess in the bathroom. Who's cleaning that up, I wonder? Don't say mum. <laughs> All right. Thank you for joining me on Carmen's Australian Storytime. Love this book. It was actually on the CBCA list of books. And I just bought it anyway because even though it didn't make it through to the notable books, I love this book. And that's the beauty of books. You can like any book you want. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to click and subscribe and check out Michelle Pike's website if you want some beautiful artworks. All right. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.